love sending Kim pics because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to. Funny, do. Mama. So <laughs> that I was like, I had to like a song. Too funny, Mama. What's with the grit? Oh wow. Oh, are we on? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Hey. hey Welcome Chris. to Two Party Mamas. Hey Chris, how you doing? Is this live or are we taping? You know what? We're live streaming and hello to all the people tuning in. Thanks for watching. Oh Mark I said, Oh, I got to get a Mark from Cleveland. <laughs> Mark, the mayor of Cleveland, Mark said he's coming on. Oh, he's coming Mark on the show. Him. That's fine. Mm -hmm. It's your show. He's yeah. a good dude. And we can get four screens up. I didn't even know we could do that. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? I know, know y'all miss work. I know they miss me on Two Funny Mamas. Get me on my good side. You was just on. Hey, we want to say Sherry can't be with us today because she's doing an important event. But we have Andre Lavelle and we have B Flat and we have Chris uh, Denman and we don't have anybody else. Chris was like, oh, I'm gonna find us some people. You got the same people we always get. What's wrong with B that? B Flat and Andre. What's wrong, What's with, wrong with consistency? Yeah. Let me explain something. Andre ain't been around. B Flat, yes. Andre been showing up, so he ain't consistent. <laughs> I haven't been invited. So it's a you treat. You never had to be invited. You ain't <laughs> never had to be invited. Because all I know is you just <laughs> on the damn screen. You pop in. You get in where you fit in. That's yes. what you're supposed to. Yeah. So you had to work for me to do around the house. So that's that's what. I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me. Uh, the gutter was broken. Come through. Oh, now we got some work to do. The curtain just fell down. It sure did fall down. Man. Next time. We next heard, time we, we next time we can look forward to Kim Dexter and Nacho doing the uh, oh Dorito <laughs> Dorito, Dorito sorry Nacho, Kim Dexter and Dorito on next Nacho week's no. Two Funny Mamas. <laughs> Kim what? I said next week at, it'll wait. be Kim Dexter and Dorito on Two Funny Mamas. That'll be a guest booking you appreciate. Yeah, I thought I think Kim I thought I was gonna maybe. It. I was going to pull out like a Cedric the Entertainer or like somebody that she was excited about. And uh, and then she comes on here and she can't hide her disappointment. I'm, I'm you were like, no, I she's got this. disappointed in, I in Andre. Not me. Well, I was going to phone in, but I was already over here. So I, I put in lipstick, had to put on lipstick because Andre's like, you ain't even ready for the podcast. Put on some makeup. <laughs> and he got his nerve because he didn't even brush his beard down. And I can see that from here. And I ain't even got my reading glass on Dre. So you need to do a little of this on that one side, on the side closest to Kim. There you go. You're Let supposed to lick your face, right? You're supposed to go and then smooth it down. You worry about how Kim looks. I can walk out of my beard oil. I can make it better. Oh, no, I'm good. There, oh, give it a trim, Kim. <laughs> hey, no, give him, hey, Kim, give him, give him a little of this, what I'm working with over here. You know, you Chris had it on. I told him okay. totally we got a black approved haircut because we got a fade. <laughs> and whoever did that did a good job on your fade, Chris. That's why I told you we're going to put money on your black card. You are a fistful <laughs> fade. You got a tight fade and a shape up. It's the same barber who shaved a heart into the back of my head. Uh, remember that, Kim? Remember that oh, picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did that. Yeah, yeah. That for Kim. Shout out to Union Barbershop here in St. Louis. Uh, so today well, we've got. A, all, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Not, I just want to say this, Chris. I don't want the world out there believing that Andre is this tall. He's not. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. But Kim said, first things first. Let's take the self esteem down a notch." Well, how many? <laughs> Absolutely, did Andre. You are beating already in the beard. She said, I'm short. I can't win for losing. Yeah. And you wonder why I haven't been here in a while. Yeah. Let, let, <laughs> this is how we treat our guests. Andre ain't no guest. He's family. Yeah. He's both with the family. Right. They need to brush their teeth or if they got something in their teeth or if they need to get a loose hair. That's what you tell family. Now, because you streamed it live, everybody got to hear the family talk. Yeah. We were talking this. We were talking this shit before you started streaming, Chris. So that's family talk. And you had just exposed us to the world. But that's what this show does. 
And this is the show, Chris, where you say, mm -hmm. That's right. Hey, Kim and Andre, we, we discussed this on B's podcast, Tighten Up Tuesday. W at what point? Uh -huh. The show that I guys... get to be on? You can't be on my show. I'm sorry, Andre. Andre. You ain't, you ain't not, did you say Andre can't be on? No, he know when to exit. Andre know he can't be on. <laughs> Why and he ain't heard it from no other Andre store. Brown boxes and you don't see him. No other store. Than me, I told Andre he can't be on. Anyway, don't worry, I'll, I'll have Dale Joy bring him in. I want to show Chris. So, uh, Andre, did, did we ever get? Did did we ever get the print or the spray can? Yes, remember, I did. I got the spray can and I got the print. Can the we print see is, him? is right over there in my, in my kitchen, and the spray can. I think. I, is that from Kabaddi? Yeah, she probably recycled the yeah. ones the, the the spray can yeah. from Kabaddi. I don't know why she know what shit but, is in there. But look what I, look what I got in the mail. What look is what it? I got in the mail. The coffee. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm waiting on mine. Shout I got out. the love. And my tumbe. Mutumbo tum coffee. Mutumbo coffee. I got the mugs, <laughs> and I got the the individual, which I'm gonna make in a minute. Camera's got, out of focus. Camera's out of focus. Heads up. Oh, man. And I got the cookies. Yeah, you do. Remember the little special cookies? Oh, I remember. Yes. It's they're caramel. I told you they're really sweet and I can't eat them. Yes. And they was nasty. I heard you say Are you white balancing the camera? There, you go. there it is. There it is. <laughs> Oh well, okay, shout yeah. out to Matumbo no. Coffee. They have they came on. She came on. Everybody had a blast with uh, with Veronica joining, and she hung out for forty minutes. I took some shrapnel. Kim took some shrapnel. But uh, all in all, I think everybody really enjoyed Veronica and the spotlight on the black business, which we thank Miracle Buttercream for sponsoring. Um, so, Kim, you got your products. Have you had the coffee yet? You know, I had the coffee before, but you know what I'm waiting to have? Oh, that's right. This single, the single. Let me tell y'all something. This is the thing I'm excited about. Because think about this. You throw this in your in your suitcase, right? And you could just be somewhere and I could just, you know, I don't have to have. Look at that. I just have the coffee right there. Bam. That's like convenient. A Veronica oh, said you can get this out of that. So don't just use it one time. Huh? You can use that Wait, coffee she bag. Like, she said that on my show. A couple of times. You can use in my, in my my yeah, she said and you I'm can make a cup. Make, make another cup. No. That was right on my That's a week. Uh, no, you got to enjoy the full flavored, rich one cup of that. Not, don't make well, a pot. Um, and I'll let you know, Chris. I'm going to dip mine and I told you I'm going to share it with the person next to me on the plane. I'm going to be like, don't buy no coffee, girl. I got this. Let me dip my bag in your cup. And save us $8 on Frontier. Frontier mm -hmm. coffee. Yeah. I, I'm not on Frontier, first of all. Yeah, they frontier. do have hot water on we'll have, we'll have We'll have an official $8. update. <laughs> We'll have an official update next week when Sherry comes back. But uh, I do know that a bunch of v viewers, listeners, bought coffee with Mutumbo. And you know what that means, Kim? 10% of the sales go to Coca Brown and that GoFundMe. So shout out to all the listeners for all the support Coca got. And shout out to Mutumbo. Yes. She didn't have to do that. That was really cool. That was very, very nice. So are we shouting out black businesses now? Official ones uh, that, that I approve. <laughs> Wouldn't that be Absolutely. funny? I don't know if we're on that segment yet since we just got started. Now, From, Andre, uh, Ohio. Andre, I don't want to have to talk to you about payola. Do you know how payola works? No Are you one... talking about the stuff that they smoke? <laughs> Are you talking uh, about the stuff they smoke in Peru? <laughs> That's ayahuasca. Oh, Andre, Andre like come back. No, do you guys know what payola is? No, what yeah, is it? Back in the day, that's what you could do with the DJs. Yeah, so uh, they would they would, the they would circumvent like any kind of real process. They'd drop like a bag of coke with a record with a record and be like, play this one. <laughs> and, uh, then, and then advertisers, what uh, advertisers okay. will do still is like give a radio DJ like a free sandwich and they'll plug them without paying for the advertising. That's what payola. They don't do is. it. 
They definitely I've don't got a animals. lot of pale. There's a lot of day. that is all pale. Yeah, Kim's like, I got free lipstick, so we're gonna talk about them. <laughs> okay. I ain't got no clout like that. I can't be pale. I'll be at home. They be like, we don't know B flat. Who is that outside the station? <laughs> <laughs> Andre, what you could be uh, this this could be our official black business presented by Miracle Buttercream. Who you who you rocking there? What's going on? Right on Lane, yep. brother named Joe in Ohio in T Toledo, what Ohio. What does it say? Yeah. What's the yes. low? What does it say? You know, on Lane. So no, it, sure, take it off. So it's it's like you know you you in your own lane. You you individual. But he's Original. on Instagram. He got his own website. Yeah, just onlane.com or on, on lane. Uh, Original own lane. Lane. Yeah. Got it. That's good. Your, own, it. Own, your own lane. And That's a great. nice guy. Young brother. Yeah, young cat. So uh, he, he trying to get me give me a little fashion so I don't look like a, you know, Shaquille will stop talking about me. I got a little swag about me now. <laughs> Let me <laughs> tell you. <laughs> we were in New York. Andre went and bought a thrift store jacket. It was better than his own jacket. I said, yeah. look at you, Andre. You done came up into the 2000s. You had that members only jacket. He had left it at home. So he brought this puff jacket at down the street from the hotel because he didn't have a coat. I, told, I said, go into that secondhand store. Baby, he came out fly. He was standing different. He had a puff jacket. It was sharp. I put the hoodie on. I like, yo, Ma, what's up? <laughs> Andre, that don't work. They be looking at me like, who was Pop? He must be hiding from his wife. <laughs> she must have been calling him in for dinner. Why are you out trying to play chess on the porch? That's who you hide from with the hoodie on. That's who you hide from. The police wouldn't even, they wouldn't even mistake you as a thug if you put that hoodie on. That's They'd good. Be like, Sir, I don't be like, you need I'm an OG. You are an OG. Let's talk. If you shave that beard off, Andre, that would be a different story. Kim, I had a question for you, if you don't, unless you want to dive in. So we got a bunch of great people in the live chat. We'll get to you all in a second and we'll say hello. Kim, I haven't seen you, I don't believe, since you all had a weekend of comedy, I believe, since we've seen you last. And then before that, you were a judge on Sherry's Funny Over 50. And B was uh, impressed with your advice you gave the ladies. I didn't know if you wanted to tell everybody about that, how it went, how the weekend went. Any thoughts? Which part? Start with Sherry's show. That's always fun. I like whenever you go on there. You, everybody okay. loves it so much. You know, I had a good time on Sherry's show. I could have, you know, done the splits or thought of some other jokes. Oh. But I did. Um, <laughs> I, I stayed very just, just, just safe. I was safe. Uh, but it was fun. You know, these women came out. They was, they was nervous. Um, but they did their thing, and it was it was fun judging. I don't like judging, but it was fun. Uh, and uh, Judy Gold and Rolanda Watts. Matter of fact, I got to send Judy Gold. She asked for my book. I got to autograph that and send it to Judy Gold. But it was my first time meeting her, and I had fun. Tammy Pascatelli was there, and you know we just really had a good time. It was a, it was a fun time. Do you feel I like you? It. Just got yeah, B. What were you saying about uh, about Kim? I. I enjoy Kim's comments. I listened to everybody's. It was more, to me, it was more comments and more talk about what they should do. I wish they would have got a little longer to perform, but I really enjoyed Kim's advice and the things that she was saying to them. I felt like some of the other people really didn't know what to say. Because in all honesty, I don't think people were looking at it as, maybe I'm wrong, because I at first wasn't looking at it like these are people that do jokes that people think they're funny. They're not like professional at all. Never been on a stage. They probably tell jokes in the kitchen while they're cooking. So I had to bring that perspective to it when I was looking at it because I was like, she all right. But then I was like, she's never done comedy before. This could be her start. And I had to think about where I started. Because when I started, I was okay. not funny. Shit, it took me like three days to get funny. I'm just <laughs> It took me like three years. <laughs> it did. It took me three years to get solidly funny where I felt like I had a solid 15, 20 minutes of funny shit that okay. I could do in different spots. So I had to step back and say, oh, look, I was one of them make it. Because the joke, you could tell that they had really never done comedy before. Only thing I was saying is I just wish that they would have dressed up more and presented themselves a little better on national TV. That, that was That's an my, interesting thought. I didn't say yeah, it, because, but we, we, 
Yeah, me she and Judy Gold were talking about it. Y'all should have had me standing in the background like the Geico person to interpret the real shit. Cause I'd have been like girlfriend with the picnic dress on. Looking like she looked like she was straight off the Swiss Miss in some cocoa. And I was like, come on, my sister. You better come out here and be funny as hell with that dress on. Cause that dress is funny. If you're not, you better talk about that damn dress. I was like, you too old to have that mini dress on. Okay, all this right. <laughs> These are my thoughts in the living room. But yeah. then she was funny. I liked her style. But like I said, I just wish they would have, both of the contestants would have been like, oh, I'm going on national TV. Millions of people are going to see me. I should look like I just was because, No, I think it's because that's their style when they do stand up. I'm thinking, I'm guessing. So they wanted to stay consistent. I don't know. Yeah, and they could have, who knows, the producer could have told them, hey, we're, we're trying to appeal to your everyday person, too. Maybe that was maybe that was a choice. I don't know. Chris? Uh, yeah, uh. people dress out. I did, we did the thing with uh, John Hamm in L.A. He dressed a certain way for, the, for that role. Remember that, Andre? <laughs> I'm Hollywood. Is Doctor Who look? Okay. He's no, I think I think he dressed down because people that they did, like, hey, can you? There's a lot of ugly people on this stage, <laughs> Mr. Ham. <laughs> remember Jonathan Kite? He had an interesting outfit on. At the uh, at the, yeah, at the comedy Bourbon. gives back murder. Bourbon, that's yeah, that's yeah. Jonathan yeah. Kite's Dr. style. That's I went to. He yeah. filmed his he filmed his special in uh, in Chicago probably 2016. And he had a funk band, and, and we were at his Jewish high school, and, and there was a funk band, and he was wearing a wild outfit that night, too, man. It was cool. So, yeah, he sticks yeah. to it. He likes that oh, style. He does music? No, just to, just to pump up the crowd. Like, that was his style. Like, it, the music that night fit his outfit at the Bourbon Room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just, it, that's Very his flair. Uh Deja, there's a couple pictures that we just I just uploaded in that flyer. If you want to just pop them up whenever you get them. Um, so Kim, behind the scenes, when you were there, did you actually help? Like you felt like one. B, I'm glad you admitted it too, because you had to remind yourself. But like, what? It's like it's like asking a a professional athlete when they play in like a a pro am with other celebrities. Like, hey, is Adam Sandler any good at basketball? And you're asking a 24 year old who could dunk since he was 10, and you're like, Adam Sandler basketball like that's you seeing up and coming comics be like you're up at a certain level kim did you feel like you helped everybody out or like you were there to to give them because it's a big deal for people to be on that show and to meet you seriously it is. they need to look like it's a big deal that's all okay. i'm saying all right all right all right <laughs> they, were, they were nervous and in their head it was a yeah. lot of pressure um and you know the show goes fast b you know that i there know a whole lot of time I I wish I'd have had more time at the end to give advice and say stuff, but there was three judges, so you know I didn't want to be. I'm Sherry's friend, so I get to talk more than y'all. I would have liked that <laughs> <laughs> if you would have said that exact line. Oh, that's part of my delivery person. Kim, I have to say that dress you had on was popping, and I am not. You know I don't wear prints, but when I saw that, why I started looking on line for prints, so I found a, a leopard print and a zebra print dress and a jumpsuit. You inspired me because I never thought I could find something that looks in a print. First of all, I ain't got no ass. So stuff, when I wear certain prints, it really, you can see that I ain't got no movie. That's why they come um, flat in. Pop the other one up first, did you? It made me want to. Oh, yeah, prints in it. Here he is. B, what do you think of this jacket? Hey, that brother looks fly. Look at Andre. I can't even tell that's you. I can. I can tell that's Andre. You that's can always black. recognize Andre by the, the little black patch in the beard. That's that's where your little oh. sex appeal comes in. I give you that, Andre. You got that little patch in the middle. That's I'm getting your sexy on. Yeah. Andre, they can't see it. The picture's up. They can't see it, Andre. Put the picture down, Deja. What are we I, doing? I'm doing a reenactment. Doing a reenactment. Kim, what was that group of men? Kim, what's that group of men that? The group of men that came through in all white when we were in Indianapolis. Yes, they was all we were in St. Louis. No, in Indianapolis. It was doing Wasn't Indianapolis. Great boxes? No, oh, they had a silver. Yeah, the silver box. Silver Drake. Yes, silver boxes right there on screen. I know about that. Now look at this. This is what us in um, Hartford. Hartford, Hartford Funny Bone. Hartford Funny Bone. 
after Sherry's show, we went to Hartford and did comedy at the Funny Bone. Now that is Bernard Jackson off to the far left, the lead singer of Surface and his son, Michael, right there. And they came to the show and Andre is hosting. Andre says, we got the lead singer of Surface and he put on happy, you know, only you can make me happy. And, uh, Bernard happy. came up and Andre got up there and he sang. That's right. They came to a comedy Andre. show and a concert oh. broke out. Yeah, sure <laughs> I have a I have a follow up question. What did you say, B? I didn't know Andre can sing. I didn't know you oh. could carry a note. Don't no, no, give no, us no, a little no, take. No, no. Andre didn't sing. Oh, I thought she said oh, Andre. Said. Oh, Bernard did. Oh well, of course Bernard he can did. sing. Of course, I have a that question. Used to be the same back in the day, did anyone ask Bernard? No, I don't. This That's could why be, he's moving on. No, 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 I'm not. This could be a, this could be something I'm not aware of. Maybe he has a different last name. Did you ask Bernard? You go. Did you? Bernard's last name is Jackson. You said. Mm-hmm. And he named his son Michael. Almost choked. Why would you set your son up for fit? Like if you if you're Steve Jordan, and you have a kid in the '80s and '90s, you can't name him Michael. You're setting him up to fail. If your last name is Jackson. I'm not naming my kid Michael Jackson because you're, he, you'll never be as good as him. I don't think anybody <laughs> thought, thought it through. You're right. I don't think nobody thought that ever. Even before Michael Jackson, it was Michael Jackson's. No, <laughs> I'd change it because you can't live up to the real to the one. If you're Michael Jordan, you know the, the, Michael the male Jackson carrier, never, you have to change your name. You know what Michael but Jackson he's not never a did? Singer. His son is not in the music business. But you know, anytime he goes to a party and he's like, yeah, Michael's coming. And they're like, who? He's like, Michael Jackson. And his son shows up. Everyone's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're just setting him up for life of disappointment. That's all. Well, what about people now they won't. <laughs> no, now they're not. <laughs> That's true. That's a very common name, Chris. And people want to have Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson should have trademarked his name like Vivica Vox did her so people can't have to put the middle initial in and can't just use the name. Just like Vanessa, oh, really? Vanessa Williams. Yeah. He, he, so she was battling with the other Vanessa Williams from um, right. Soul Food and she had to put the L in her name because Vanessa Williams, America's first black beauty mm -hmm. queen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You cannot use that name. That's my name. Ain't that crazy when somebody don't you can't use your own damn name? So she had to get, yeah, Vanessa, you know. Vanessa Williams and Vanessa L. Williams had to Williams. I remember Kareem Kareem Abdul Jabbar sued a uh, a running back for the Dolphins who also had the name Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Had, I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. If you get your name trademark, you can sue. Just like McDonald's is running around suing everybody to get the MC if they got a business started after 2010. And I know that for a fact really? because my management piece in this, this letter saying you cannot use MC Filmworks. Ain't nobody, that's why they changed the name of their company. Ain't nobody gonna battle McDonald's. They trademark MC. That messed us up. Oh, wait a minute, I meant to say. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna tell B flat. I inspired mm. her to get a print. I inspired you to wear print. You inspired me to get my hair red. Oh, that's what's up. Exactly. See, that's early when we jumped on, I said, Kim, I'm feeling the red hair. It's popping. It's just, you know what? It just seems like a natural transition since we're both Deltas. Andre, you don't know about that. You ain't no Delta gent yet. <laughs> we might make you an honorary well, Delta gent. Chris inspired me to wear uh, black. And, well, I inspired Chris to wear black. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to feel and I, it. I inspired, we'll get, I inspired Kim to have a snack. Kim going to do that anyway, even though she only doing that because Sherry ain't on the show. She gets to eat when I'm on the you show. You know, I, I love it. eating on the podcast. I it's, don't know why. Can I tell you? It's the strangest it's thing the in the world. It is. I only, I only no. eat on the podcast. Kim, Kim, tell us why. People probably want to know because now it's become a thing where yes, the audience you. the audience will now <laughs> will now yell at people for complaining about Kim eating. Like the audience comes yes, to your they aid. They want to know what I'm eating. What so are you today, eating? 
I'm eating a acai bowl. Oh, this is so good. good. It's uh oh damn. <laughs> See, Chris, this is where you say telling you something. Oh. See, it's... it is. But I tell y'all, so acai is from the is from Brazil, I believe the acai berry, right? And they take acai. it and they blend it. And Chris, you, you don't tell me how to do it's acai. That, all that healthy. This is a berry. And they yeah. blend it down. Then they, and Andre, mm. feed it to her. Be be a good friend. After a bag of I didn't eat the whole bag of Doritos, potato chips, and now y'all eating an acai bowl. Well, Cam, your toilet is going to be. First of all, you were eating Doritos. You're going to be screaming. Okay. That's all I got to say. Two seconds. Did the two of you hear what? Beverly Flat just said. Why did you have? To, if they didn't hear it, Chris, then that means you move on to the next. Say it, Chris. Say it. No, go ahead. Tell I them what you said. The old is going to be screaming between the Doritos <laughs> chips and acai. That was him having Doritos. I didn't have anything. What was the crunchy stuff you was eating? <laughs> okay, I just uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw your ass. You was <laughs> you was eating something crunchy <laughs> when the show started. You ass. That's why I said every time I see y'all ass, y'all be eating. It. Remember, hey, way too much attention. She does that shit. She, she, she don't be a mom. Is not on this show. Get no Chris, What's that noise up there? I told you. I told you don't be hitting that TV. I don't do her work. All right, we only have so much time today, and as great as this is, <laughs> we need <laughs> to. <laughs> We do. Let's talk to the lovely people in the live chat. I want to remind everybody, too, uh, we're coming up on 200 episodes. We're going to do a huge live show. If you have suggestions for that, DM me on Instagram. Send a message to twofunnymamas at gmail.com. Let us know what you would like to see at a live show, and uh, and we'll have more details about that to come. M.M. is in the house. Uh, Kim has it in her- Kim has it in her Midcoast Media contract that she has to eat chicken on camera at least once. Uh, that's from MM. Jenny McDonald, the podcast is not the same if Kim doesn't eat. Uh, Armani says Kim stays with a good mukbang. <laughs> you see, at this point, you can't stop. Uh, Rasquire says, watch Sherry pop in like Beetlejuice for them calling her name so often. <laughs> she would do that. I tried to just Beetlejuice. I just tried to And she make them fall Chris and say, Chris. Why did you let B eat almonds on the show? While Kim eating ice cream bowl. It'll be right. me. I'll be the one to get in trouble. And they'd be like, don't bring your ass back on the show for a while. Mm. I ain't even smoking or nothing. I'm just drinking my regular old mighty kind CBD seltzer. Oh, that's Paola. Uh, Kim- <laughs> <laughs> Lowner says Lowner says uh Andre's looking good. I agree. Any other uh-oh, ladies think uh-oh. Andre's looking good? Let us know in the live I chat. A question a question earlier. Um Andre, any any projects you want to tell people about? A couple people were asking what you've been up to, what you're working on for the future. Uh been grinding on hitting the stages with this one right here. Uh we got a project that's coming along very well pre-production and Kim's closet and also we have Kim's closet don't forget about that kymcloset.com all of Kim's used Kim's socks pretty. and she has you a know, few other things on there <laughs> whatever you, whatever you, don't you don't want sell, them <laughs> you know you can send to me and I'll flip it I'll take all the socks shit I'll make a whole bed for it you know I mean? I'm always J- flipping socks J- so whatever you Jai B says, I was at the comedy show in Connecticut. I had so much fun. I love hearing that. I, I got the report oh, from Andre oh, saying it went well. Yeah. Well, of course, Andre don't say it went well. No, he'd, he'd say. I to subscribe to Two Funny Mamas. He had one job. Do you know what, do you know, do you know oh, what I did? So we have a we have a comedy show tonight. If you're in St. Louis and you're a Two Funny Mamas man, fan, we've sold it. We've got enough people coming. So if a couple of you want, let me know. DM me. You can come by. But we've got a comedy show. You know, I did that the other day. I had to do like a little hosting at a all black comedy show, Kim, and the audience wasn't paying attention to me enough. And I said, uh, and I said, yeah, you guys can get rid of me in a second. But if you don't, if you're not tired of me, you can always catch me on Two Funny Mamas with Kim Whitley and Sherry Shepard. That audience stood up like this. <laughs> 
full house sold out show that Larry Green was doing. I was like, okay, instant calling card right there. They were like, okay, he's somebody. He used two funny mamas to get their attention. Oh yeah, everybody was like, that's right. Could have flexed your muscle and said, I don't know why y'all. I'm Suge White. How y'all doing? I'm Suge White. If you went out there, Suge right White. There you go, Chris. That'd have been an instant laugh right there. I'll try hey, it tonight. I think so. Yeah, we wouldn't be joking. We wouldn't be joking like this if Suge was free. Okay, I'd put a stop to it. I'd put a stop to it. I'd be like, it would be my luck. I will be walking in somewhere and be like, oh, you the dumb mother who said this, and I'd be like, that was Andre Lavelle. I can take you to him right now. And I'll back you. Don't put my name in it. Right. Don't say be. I'm gonna sell me out like that. I've met Suge a couple times. I did some work with his brother, so. I'd probably get a pass. Yeah, well, I wouldn't. <laughs> you probably wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, B goes, yeah, no, you wouldn't. You definitely I wouldn't. Would. Uh, <laughs> so, so, sorry, go ahead. Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, lots of great folks in the uh, in the comments. Felicia also thinks Andre's looking good. MM says Andre's a whole zaddy in the L.A., in them L.A. Figueroa streets. <laughs> Michelle. <Figueroa>. Hell. He's <laughs> got <laughs> jokes. Michelle, hi Andre, looking good, man. B, did you know we were signing up for TenderGrayFox.com? Every time Andre comes on the show, and I still don't know why to this damn day he ain't got nobody. With Andre, you got plenty of women on you, especially after you did the little dip and everything. He picky. Andre is Blockers. too picky. Blockers. No, he's picky. I'd be like, what about that one, well, Andre? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a difference being big. It's a difference between and having something to pick from. Well, do Andre have something to pick from, or is you just being picky? I think if you if you went through his DMs, he'd have some. You don't know. He don't want to talk to him if they breath stink. I I said that could have been a one time uh, breath stink. (laughs) (laughs) Now this girl really quick. She had drank water all day. And her breath was, she had a little dragon on it. It was kicking like Bruce Lee karate. And I was like, well, she, she was attractive, but she said hello. And it was an instant turn off. I was like, oh man, her breath is kicking. And I told Kim. Yeah, you don't want to buy I didn't have no breath. If I had a mint, that I might have. You wouldn't have, if you had a mint, you wouldn't have gave it to her ass. You'd have been like, if this funky breath held on, stop talking to I, me. You'd have you walked s- away. Kim. Because if, if you'd have given a mint, then she would have said, oh, you trying to say my breath thing? And then what was you gonna say, Andre? And then she'd have cussed you out, and then it would happen. So then, been the whole thing. Didn't... and on my mama would have been said. All I got to say: if your breath stink right then and there, then your breath stink all the time. It ain't no one time occurrence. No, well, yeah. Got... Sometimes so, um, you start dieting, and your breath stinks. Flame Monroe in the live chat. Hi, Flame. Hey, Flame. Flame! I'm the one to talk with my breath stinks all the time because I smoke weed, drink coffee, and I tell people up front, even with a mint and a halls, I say, I'm sorry, I don't like to be up close on people because my breath is cutting up. I just got going to smoke coffee and eat an onion sandwich. And then, because ain't nobody going to look at me and say, be flat your breath stinks. So I just tell them up front, all you got to do is just step back. You can still if, hear me. But you ain't got to prove it, but you don't have to please nobody but your husband. So he probably used to your breath stinks. Because he smoked weed and drink coffee. And our breath smell alike. There you go. Oh, you do the same. Activity. A lot of, can go a lot of directions. Can go a lot of, a lot of directions. Uh, let's I talk about Did you say what I think you said? Shut up. What do you I say, can't kid? Ask, I can't. I had to text oh. you this. <laughs> text me. Don't say no nasty. Tell Andre, what, I'm just. If you've seen Andre perform, I'm if you like if you've seen Andre perform, I will just say, I thought he had a solution to not having to be near the breath. I've I've seen you act that out on stage. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, That'll make the breath stink. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> that activity will make your breath stink. And you right. worried about a fucking breath. <laughs> Maybe you all yeah. know. Maybe Andre. you all know, maybe you don't. Resquire in the live chat wants to know how Coca is doing. I don't, Kim, I, don't, I haven't I gotten any her. updates. B, have you? I spoke to her yesterday because okay. I was telling her about okay. the SAG after emergency fund. 
they can go in and you know I know all of that stuff being on the nominated comedy committee. comedy gives back is hooking her up with a grant as well that she can That's apply for up. yeah well, I sent her the information yesterday but it was funny because we were chatting about you know like how people talking shit like on Instagram and saying dumb stuff like she ain't got no homeowners insurance what happened to her and that I told Coke, I said, this is all the people that don't have no house. They live in an apartment and they probably ain't got no renter's insurance. Because everybody <laughs> that owns a home knows. <laughs> Andre put his head down. Everybody that owns a home knows that when you get a mortgage, it, you have to pay. You have to have homeowner's insurance. And they put it in your mortgage. It, it's right in there. But they're not going to pay out the next day your house burned down or if it floods. They have to come and do an investigation, and it's going to take time. Right, and they might not so, give you the money, depending on how it burns down. They, exactly. And other people, you know, we were talking about how people was like, she ain't had no emergency. So I was like, bitch, your money could have burnt up in the house, for all people know. Because, you know, we keep little change in the house, and anything could have happened. So I just thought, we were just talking about how ignorant it is for people to, you know, just be trying to well, judge her situation based man. upon her celebrity. Right. They were mad about Tyler Perry giving them money. I was like, what's wrong with people? Ignorant. But these are people that are behind the scene that talk shit on the internet. You don't know their real name. It'd be like chocolate XXZ. <laughs> First of all, if you I bring, if come you, in and say some shit. If you bring up Andre's uh, screen name one more time, we're going to be upset with you. Oh. <laughs> Probably why he ain't getting no love. Find out oh, Andre's yeah, the one too. that's been talking shit. Hey. <laughs> Tell me that her and Phoenix are staying in a, they rented a um Airbnb for three months. So, you know, she had to keep her kid in school. So she's just getting situated and taking it one day at a time. She's still letting it set in that she don't have shit. Mm. And people don't think about right. the fact you got to go buy toothpaste. So well, at least her car didn't burn up. She got her car up the driveway, right? Mm -hmm. She got her car, but. You can't live. That's I mean, people do live in the car. burnt up in the, in the fire. In the fire. Wow. I said, why you ain't get the car? She, Her husband's car burnt up. Hers didn't. I said, you ain't worth a damn. She said, I had to get my car, girl. Forget him. <laughs> you can't get two cars. You got to go for what you know. And maybe one was outside the carport. One might have been in the garage. So if the car in the garage burnt up, you can get the one in the carport. Flame, flame and rose, back. flame and rose in the live chat. By the way, flame, I will text you, and maybe next week we'll get flame on. It's been a minute since flame has been on. Um, flame and rose says those are unpaid employees in the in the comments saying that in parentheses says haters, haters. Thank you, haters. I'm like, I ain't got no homeowner insurance. That's somebody living in an apartment don't know shit. And like I said, they ain't even got no renters insurance. If they shit burn up, they are gonna be looking at the landlord like, where my my stuff burned up. And they go, the landlord going to be looking at you like you're supposed to have renter's insurance. I got the building covered, but not your shit on the inside. Excuse right, me. and that's the truth. And speaking of burned up. Oh, boy. My weed burned up. Is somebody going to do a GoFundMe for me? Shit, I'm only trying to raise like $300. Because my weed burned up. Somebody <laughs> arbitrarily <laughs> smoked it. Somebody sent the pipe. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a party. Somebody smoked up my good stuff. And I was so mad. And I was like, oh, damn, I need to do me a GoFundMe. Because if I didn't smoke it, it's a loss. And I should be able to write it off. That's all I'm saying. So if they want to start a cash app for B-flat weed fund that got smoked up in the fire. <laughs> They're not going to do it. There's some people that might do it. <laughs> That's why I'm drinking this mighty kind. Right, it's over. Oh, that was, she enjoyed that. You cleaned that. Clean plate that club. Kim, you got that. that you cleaned so that. Oh, Shout cool, out to man. Irina, Irina, Tequila, CT, Avi Versace wants to smoke with B one day. Uh, That's what it, <laughs> Ask them where they live, Chris. Ask Avi. <laughs> Don't, we are not. <laughs> Because you never know what city I'm in. I want to know what city. Yeah, Avi where, is where in. do you live, Avi? Um, hey, yeah. before we get too deep into this, I got to go help with the show tonight and get that going uh, here in St. Louis. But Kim, are you? Where are you live next? Where are you? Are you? I don't know if you're taking Andre. Where are you guys performing next? Um, nowhere right now. Excuse won't be. Me. Won't be like that for long. I know. I have right. a couple movies I got to shoot. Oh, I'm gonna be texting you right there. 
Um, I got a couple things I got to shoot, and then Las we'll be Vegas. right back in it. on the road. Um, well, Kim, I'm hoping your schedule is light in September so that you yeah. can join us for the Picasso celebration in St. Louis. And let me repeat that again. I hope that your schedule is light in September on the 14th and the 15th so you can join the Picassos in St. Louis at the music festival. All right. Yes. I, that was a good, that was a very successful last year. Music at the um, intersection. And, well, yeah. I'd like to bring and up I, something. Okay. And Kim, trying to get you and Sherry to attend this year, if y'all can. Okay. Um, Thanks for that invite. Maybe I should put out there that Chris was paying for the flights. Maybe you should put out there that Chris is in charge of partnerships for the festival. And if Kim and Sherry are, are going to be coming, I'm going to have to do something with that. So good stuff. Yeah, they come on staff for the Picasso. <laughs> I love how B, um, how B has yeah. taken an entire music festival with 50 plus bands, civic support, sponsors, volunteers and made it into the aside from her Picasso barbecue. Uh, that's right. <laughs> and everybody loves it. And that's why we're going to have about 200 people this year, Chris. You know, I've been on the phone all day locking down and sponsorship. I love Picasso. it. Small Thank and mighty. You. There will be about 20,000 people at the festival, but bees is the, is the main thing. So Kim, what were you saying? No, I would not believe. Where was that? The back of his file cabinet. Who hid that bag? My sons. Look, we even bought him a new one. We got, give me that. Give me that. Let me see. Let me show you this. Andre actually helped Joshua get this, right? This was for Joshua so he could do his schoolwork, right? Oh, wow. It's been lost for a year because Joshua gets in trouble and people take his, but they, they don't, they should let the mama just do it. One person do it. One hiding spot. So they hid it. She just found it. It was in the back of the file cabinet. So we bought him another one since then because he couldn't do his schoolwork. This mm -hmm. doesn't make any kind mm -hmm. of sense. That's, that's, that that's when you say, so this mm -hmm. be my two funny I can just do my two funny mamas on this now. Yeah, you can carry that around with you. I wish I just had the. I could just do the podcast on this. The laptop so I couldn't that's find they want. The Now we got to find Where's the cord? You, you've been to her okay, house. Go. You've been to her house. Where's yeah. The, and immediately, immediately, Kim or Andre, can we put that on her Find My app? Can yeah, we, I'm surprised I have put that, my, that laptop in there, Find Me. Because when I lost my iPad, I showed located at uh, Terminal C oh, uh, American Airlines. Yeah, Joe, can so you put this uh, on Find Me? Yeah, y'all need to find me. Yes, so y'all ever have that problem and it'll be yeah, in the back of it would have been in my it would have said it's in your house <laughs> exactly <laughs> kim i feel like now, you were this, you were going to dive into something you wanted to say something yes i want everyone to hear this everyone hello everyone out there in uh podcast land uh, so Andre and I's relationship almost ended about 30 minutes ago. We are on our way to go get, I needed an exercise bike. This so feels like a one video. camera. If we could, if we could just have Kim and Andre and this feels like this needs to be a little bit more of a close up Deja, if we can. Then why do we need to so, see you? Because Terry was on the show, we wouldn't even be seeing you, Chris. So why are you trying to put me off? First of all, mm. Beverly. Ain't no first of all. <laughs> They'd right, be what, putting you on. Not me. I'm the co-host. Look at her face. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> All right, Kim. Yeah, you got to hear the story. You're going to sit to okay. the side. Go be off camera. I can hear So we get, are getting ready to go and get, uh, I need to, uh, I would like to buy a used bike, exercise bike at, a, at an exercise store. So first of all, I have worked out did all this my physical therapy and worked out i was exhausted andre says go take a shower i was like andre let's just make a run because we got the podcast he was like you got plenty of time well i was exhausted from working out so it took me some extra time and i'm having some challenges and there wasn't no rugs on the floor and i was scared i was gonna slip and break my neck blah 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 we finally get ready it is 20 minutes to two here i said no, it's 30 minutes. Andre's like, 
Well, you know, it's one thirty. I said, excuse me. I said, well, we can't be late. I smell like I see bowl. <laughs> I didn't say I did you say I see bowl. <laughs> so we get in the car. I say, you want me to drive? He says, well, ain't that the purpose why I'm here? It's not the purpose why you were there, Andre, to drive. We were going to get workout equipment. Ain't nothing wrong with me driving. I only like you to drive at nighttime because I can't see or long distances that we're going to do this weekend because you know I'm going to fall asleep. So, no, I didn't need you to drive me down the street. No. So I said, let me drive. But he said, no, get in the car. After he just made me take a shower that I didn't want to take either. He getting out of control. He crossing the line. So we get in the car. This is a little bit my fault because his angle ain't right. He don't drive. I got a long car. So he tried to turn it. I said, no, go back up, back it out the correct way. All of a sudden, we get to back it out. All I hear is, bam! Andre to hit my gate, knocked it off the bag, knocked the piece of here. You should be shaking. That's why it's open, because it's broken, because Andre's ass done ran into it. And I just sat in the car because I said, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I just want to. I said, calm down. Don't be upset. It's Andre. He be messing up. It's okay. So I just sat there and I prayed and I rocked and I prayed. And then I said, okay, let's see what happened. They was out there looking at the gate and I heard a lot. And I do what a woman normally does. While they out there talking about, let's fix the gate, how we got to look like a piece of metal. It sounded bad to me. And the sound was bad. I picked the phone. I called the gate company. I said, I ain't got time for this. I said, can y'all come over here and fix the gate? They said, what happened? I, I said, Andre Lavelle hit the gate. They were like, he hit it? I said, yes. Bam. They said, what's wrong with it? I said, Andre, what's wrong with the gate? He said, the metal piece is hanging off. I said, I'm going to need y'all to get here because they can't fix it. They out there playing games. So they're going to come over and fix the gate. I said, thank you very much. She said, oh, no, before you get off this phone, I need your credit card. All right, I, said, I know I'm she card. Okay. And I said, I should get Andre's credit card. <sighs> but I got gave her the credit card. Then I got out the car and, and I was coming in because we said, now we ain't got but 10 minutes. Andre still trying to go where we was going. I said, Andre, we can't do that. Chris expects us to be on the podcast and just talk to him. Oh, while I was in the car, I was so frustrated after I was praying to the Lord, I called Chris. I said, Chris, I said, Andre done hit the gate. He done tore up my home. So then, <laughs> yeah, you should be sad. Then I got out. Look at him trying to look like sad, oh, sad man. So then I go to come in the house, right? Something stopped me in my tracks. I said, don't go in, Kim. Go around to the back of the car and look at the damage. <laughs> I said, well, maybe it wasn't no damage. I go to the back of the car. It's a big old scratch where the gate just scratched. I'm sorry. The car. <laughs> Andre, you lucky she ain't charge your ass. You should be smiling. And if I was you, I'd he go out there and cut the gram. He should be looking both ways. True. But since you didn't, this, Andre, the least what, you could do is give me something to slap him with because I can't use my hand. <laughs> you know, he's been auditioning lately, so he think he's a great actor. He over here with tears in his eyes. He wants y'all to see close up on Andre. He got he manifested some tears. Well, you oh, need shit. to take the I tears and go put my paint back on the back of my truck. That's what you need to manifest some paint that's missing. Oh no! Yeah. Not you the to be, I to be around the house so she forget about it. Like hey, trimming bushes, cut the grass, clean the pool. You start doing somebody stuff like that. Add to the other bill. You got somebody. I said you can't do that. It's karma. <laughs> so we done left. The, we had because iron is hanging off the gate. And my car's paint is missing. So I wanted mm, to share mm, that mm. with everyone. I'm glad we can include Chris, that. I'm, 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 up. I'm glad we can include that in the I'm, program. I'm, That's where people come People come here for the news. <laughs> like that. Uh, B-flat, 
I know you'll you're gonna plug stuff for like the next twenty four minutes. You got anything coming up people need to know about? I'm getting ready to start working on my Netflix hopefully special. Uh, you know don't that? call it a that's Netflix what hopefully what special for the love of God. That's what, that's what my manager calling me because that's who's trying to sell it and that's who we trying to sell it to. So you claim it. You ain't got no money in on it, Chris, so you can't say nothing. The VC said, claim it. I'm going through you for the Grandel Theater, and you're going to help with the production. We claiming this, Chris. There you have it. So between May and so August, say Netflix I ain't special, not hopefully. Don't put hopefully in it. Claim it. If you claim it, say Netflix, Netflix special. Thank you, but I ain't want to put no. I want to put Chris' name in. He don't want nobody to know he's a part of it until it happens, and he want to jump out with his should white outfit on. Because if it go fucked up, he don't want Chris Dim and name connected to it. That's why he ain't want me to say nothing. But when it get fly and we start taping, Chris is going to be like, well, I just want to go out and say a few things and just open up the crowd and let everybody know this is a help a Mid-Coast Media production. So tighten when up, I get tighten done, up, that's tighten up Tuesday is about to be a Facebook Live from B's cell phone podcast is what that's <laughs> about to be. Why, you we're about to be. You oh taking it personal about my business? You taking it personal, Chris, about my business? I don't think so. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, with you. man, I'm oh, working man. on Chris. I'm setting myself up from May to August so that I won't be on the road and I won't do anything but focus on what I need to get done. You That's seen the about. deck? I had to say, yeah. So even though I'm talking a little shit, but you know what I'm about to be working on. Although I do have a show in Lauderdale, Florida, March the 23rd, but after April, I'm not doing no oh, more shows. Yeah. I need to take who, off. Who you I was in Lauderdale. Who you performing? The performing the po me, Jay, Anthony Brown, and Coca Brown. Yeah, That's the two Browns in a booty hole. <laughs> That's the name of the show. The two Browns in a booty hole. Coca Brown, Jay, Anthony Brown. They ain't want to say asshole because of me, so they just said booty hole. <laughs> they got to rhyme two Browns in a booty hole. <laughs> That's not the name of the show. <laughs> you know I'm crazy and I'm hot. Yeah, it's um. <laughs> no, it's me, J. Anthony Brown, Coca Brown, and Marvin Dixon is hosting at the Lauder Hill Marvin Performing Arts Center. Yep. That's a great it's sponsor by these ladies. Uh, Hill, so it's going to be a nice show. I'm looking forward to it. But after that, right, I'm taking it down because great audience. Yeah, just focusing on the music festival, the Picasso stuff that we have to do, and my comedy special. Let me call it that. Is that better, Chris? I like that. that. Um, Netflix, you know, hopefully. I like, Funniest thing I've ever Chris, heard. Chris, you know what I would like? <laughs> well, that's what we should have into first. I, I, I can't tell. I can't hear you, Kim. I'm sorry. There's a, there's a parrot in Philadelphia squawking into my ears. <laughs> Not even talking. What are you talking about? I'm... I'm logging my hot flashes. You see that? Uh, what? I don't know what's happening. I, uh, I log I log my my you log them? Yes. You see that hot Why? flash? 16, 950. Because I'm trying to get them under control and see what causes them. Because I'm getting ready to start a whole detox thing. So I'm getting ready to cut out. Like I wrote down what I'm doing while I'm having the hot flashes. So this what is my mean? fifth day log. I'm finding that. When I drink coffee the most is when I have the most hot flashes. So I started went, coming off of the coffee and it's like I have less. So I'm going to start this whole thing and you know, get my body together because I don't want to do hormones, but I'm going to take it on and just control my hot, hot flashes. I saw you that. Can do that. What Everybody gets hot when they drink hot coffee. That was good. No, but, oh boy. No, this Andre. Is, you know I'm going Andre, to menopause. Careful. You know I'm going through the men of pause when I walk into the room. The men of pause. So uh, I am logging it so I can get track of what's causing it when I have them the most, when they occur, so I can kind of just see where I am with my body. So yes, I write down my hot flashes. Makes and sense. the doctor said if you have more than 20 to 30 a day, then you need to come and see the doctor because you shouldn't be having really? more than 20 to 35 flashes. Yes. You, you'll get dehydrated. They already got me drinking body armor, Gatorade, and some other shit because I'm losing a lot of electrolytes. Because I've been at, my eye flashes are drippy sweat, like running up and down the basketball court. I don't just get a little, no, I be all on stage, 
Well, the material needs all of that. I have to. So I'm just trying to get them under control. So Good. That's why that I'm was a them. great. I, I love that. See, somebody else at home probably is, uh, needed that information. I'd like to. If you sweat we, under your titties, Chris? Boy, more, <laughs> more than I. More, <laughs> more than you want to. I, 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 had, I just want you to know. I had something. I had no, something Chris in my know. head. I can't. Your mom tunes in. I don't want to talk about what makes Chris, me sweaty and her. It's, it's strange. It's it's a weird thing. <laughs> I had to get him back. Andre, I was get him back. back. Andre, beat me. It's mad because he is bigger than yours. All right, listen. I'm crying. Okay, that was no matter. That was rude. <laughs> Chris, I'm trying to back you up. I'm sick of him. Oh, you're just back you up with a bad compliment. <laughs> yeah, a, hor a horrific compliment. <laughs> Right. Kim, you're forgiven. Me. You've you've literally lost the paint on your car. So that's a dramatic thing to do. So it's, it's dramatic. But Chris, Chris, I know that wouldn't have happened if you were driving. Um, Andre is not the best driver, but we won't go into that. Andre, you almost what? killed me and Arlene. So um What's so what I'd like to do. Yeah, I know. Uh Chris, could we promote one of the best events of the year is the Tom Joyner? Cruise? Of course. What about it? You never got that email? Are you kidding me? Let's check it. You got it. You got I bet, it. I, it I, bet I did. I bet I did. You can tell us about Arlene's it while we saying. find it. Arlene okay. said. Pam, are you going to be on the cruise? Your cruise is, if y'all ain't never done nothing in your life, I just want to make sure people are aware of the Tom Jordan morning cruise. Get your coins together. It is the best. I go every year at least i tried to andre you're the only person i guess i haven't taken huh okay well, maybe we take you this year uh well no you what scratch month? my car huh what month is it don't take andre shit. take me what month is the job Tom got through <laughs> this, is the, hate, this is, is the haters ball this is the <laughs> this is i want to give the exact date for the cruise um the cruise is on let's get here some i'll tell you about it wait Oh, go ahead. There it comes. Go ahead. It is May, April, end of April. Yeah. So oh, sailing okay. April 27th to May 4th, 2024. Yep. Labadee, Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, San Juan, Puerto Rico. You can call the call center at 214-495-1963. I'll put all of this information in the description as well. So if you're watching this or you're listening, you can go back and check out all that. You can email Fantastic Voyage at reach mediainc.com again all of this will be able to be found you can get ready because it's back baby stay tuned to get the derby day party paddle up for the onboard i guess art auction that's fun b you'd like that yeah. uh you can get uh, included with cabin purchases seven days aboard the royal caribbean's independence of the seas concerts activities and events aboard the ship port changes tax and gratuities meals Coffee shop's not included. Sorry, B. Candy shop, gift shop, and specialty restaurants not included. Airport transfers, Miami and FLL. I think that's Fort Lauderdale, maybe. On Saturday, April 27th, and Saturday, May 4th, two from what? Port Miami. Either way, it's a hell of a party. I'm looking at these uh, accommodations. Who are the people? Who are the people that y'all, the people yeah, that are going to be on the show crew. with us? Uh, a lot of comedians, of course. Go ahead. So Chris. it's not listed nope. in this, in what I'm seeing, but... Uh, let me check this okay. out. Oh, no, I lied. I lied. I lied. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, my gosh. Shaka Khan. Shaka will also be at Music oh. at the Intersection. That's a big deal. Bobby Brown. Kim, you know him. I do know Bobby. Speaking of. And his family. Yeah. Tank. Ralph Tresvance. Oh, Is it Trevance? Tresvance? Oh, they're going to be popping on that. Oh, ja Rule. They gonna on this. Ja Rule, Kirk Franklin, Method Man, and Red Man, and Ashanti, which means. <laughs> Nell, Nelly will probably be there too if Ashanti's on there. I mean, he, they're right. expecting a kid soon. That's incredible. Oh, you ready for some comics? This is serious. Oh, this is serious every year. George Wallace, J. Anthony Brown, Chris Paul, Huggy Lowdown, Myra J., Allison Hines, and EU featuring Bear. Wow. This is a That's serious nice. cruise. I thought the Kim. Gold Train was popping. Tom Joyner's cruise always was popping. It's popping when I tell you, and we're on one of these big, beautiful ships, the Royal Caribbean this year. 
I've been waiting to go back to this ship. But the fun is all the gospel in the morning because I never wake up for the gospel in the morning because I'd be just going to bed at four in the morning or five in the morning from daggone uh, late night because they always got a they always got a big old concert, a hip hop concert at two in the morning. The main concert's at That's eight. Then you got to run and get something to eat, get a piece of pizza or something. Then you get a little ice cream on the top of that. And then you run to the two o'clock hip hop. And you be down and down, down, down. Then four o'clock in the morning, then you got to run to see Jesus. By that time, the day done started again. I said, Lord, have mercy. But y'all go to the fantasticvoyage.com, uh, I think. And uh, yeah, check I'm trying to get on. Yeah, check I'm out trying there. to get on that next year. Maybe I might have some clout by next year to get on that. Because I know I'm going to be on the Soul Train cruise again. And that was awful. Oh, okay. And it was. Well, B flat, we'll oh, see. B flat, man. Oh. I'm going to see if they can. It's off the Soul Train cruise, is off the chain. Yeah. They cut. And, you know, oh, it was, it was nice. And next year is going to be even better because I already know who's coming next year. But th I had a wonderful time. And I don't even like cruises. And I didn't think that I was going to enjoy myself. And I did. I had a great eight days. Oh. It's a cruise. It ain't a TV show. Yeah, but the name. Oh, but his son is actually about Soul Train is about to go on Broadway and a play a musical. Really? Oh, that's gonna oh. be dope. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I was on Soul Train. Did you see that? I, when I first came to LA, I, I uh, met some young ladies, and one of them was a dancer on Soul Train. And I got on set, and I got kicked out by Don himself because I didn't know they put you where they wanted you to stay, and I was following the ca yep. the camera. I was, and he said, you gotta oh, get yeah. out. <laughs> and I got out of Soul Train. Oh yeah, they kick a lot of people out. They kick me out too. Everybody gets well, kicked out of Soul Train. There's a pretty famous story. I was story mad because I didn't get my chicken box. Because they used to give you a, a chicken. They yeah. take a break and you get some a box of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yep. And I've been there all morning and I'm looking forward to that two piece because I was struggling. That's why you went game. there. Yeah. Yeah, I did, damn Soul Train. I wanted that chicken box. <laughs> Chris is Chris Andre, I was giving out free food. Look at Chris's face. Andre, I don't even know how they got homeless people in LA that don't know, have no food because you know where to get all the free food. You could be taking yeah. the homeless people to the real estate things where they be serving look, the nice real estate where they serve the champagne and little hors d'oeuvres and shit. If you think if they think you're going to buy the house, roll up on and take a couple homeless people. Kim, was, that. Kim was actually in it. Kim was actually in a movie that I'm guessing no one that watches this show has seen. She was, she was in a movie where they did that, where Jason Siegel actually would go and he met Paul Rudd and he and they would meet. He met him at a at a luxury real estate showing. I love you, I love you, man. And there's no, I love you, man. I've seen it. No one else that that. watches this show has seen that. No, I saw that show. I saw that movie. I love you, man. Did you with Jason Siegel? Yes, Paul Rudd. Yeah movies like that you know that's the white in me chris <laughs> people don't realize my favorite movie is the peanut butter falcon and people be like what the hell is the peanut butter falcon with shay labeouf in it is a dope movie oh hilarious my favorite movie no you know about yeah, that but that's why you should okay. watch it it's hey good. dear joy all right can you do me a favor can you wash out wash out my brand new matumbo coffee of put some hot water in it and put this in and we will try some new coffee Let's try the new Yay. Coffee. And then when she's done, Thank just you. fill it back up and do the B-flat method and feed the neighborhood. Dip it again. Feed the neighborhood with a cup, a cup of coffee for everybody. I'm going to get the second second dunk of coffee. <laughs> Chris, I can't. You know, you know, second dunk. You understand, we're going to get off this podcast and reality going <laughs> to sink in about my car, and I'm going to beat his ass. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture. Can I call Kim? Andre, if you part, you would have exit early when Kim was telling the story about how you messed up her gate and you should have been out there doing the grass, cleaning the pool, trimming bushes and shit. So when she walked outside, she forgot all about the car and the gate. And she'd be like, Joe, you did my grass. Oh, you trimmed the bushes. All of that labor could probably amount to the amount of money you would have to spend fixing her car and her gate. So if you go out there and work hard, clean the pool, Walk the dog, feed the dog, cut the grass, sweep the sidewalk, blow the leaves, all of that Dre. Kim ain't gonna be thinking about that gate. She gonna be like, damn Dre, you did all this? No, no, See? no. But you still 
there. You still sitting there. Reprimand you about her. The cleaning people already been here today. That's ain't nothing messy. I'll come back. What about the yard? I was like, what about the yard? This time you know Andre. Andre ain't getting no whoopings back I in the day. No good. Chris, I don't think you can be that fast, <laughs> smart ass mouth. He said you can come back tonight. Some shit gonna be jacked up by then. That's not your that. fault. You have an you have a new army in your house every day. It's not. I mean, it's your fault that you let them in, but it's a a rotating cast of characters. Whitley raising Whitley is still in production, but there's just no there's there's just no cameras. There's just, there's that no is camera. true. We just said that today. I said, I don't know why this uh, house is not, you know, on TV anymore. <laughs> All right. You, know, you love that. You need that. You need people around you. You like to be surrounded by people. And if you're and if you're in St. Louis, we got a packed house, uh, and I've got chicken for folks. <laughs> so I got to make sure that's over there. I got to tape these. I got to tape these babies down. So, because I can be up Please on stage, <laughs> <laughs> I got to get into my girdle. Da- That's funny, Chris. Deja is going to have to zip me up. It's going to be a rough one. So, I do have some cool Chris, shoes. They got man spanks. I saw some. I was going to get one. Hmm? They got man spanks now. Oh, it, there's and a famous- I know three comedians that wear it, and I ain't going to say their name on the <laughs> you show. You can see if people wear those, you can tell when they're you're like that body doesn't look. I've that- seen two male comedians getting put in them behind the stage. I was like, what the hell is that? And they was putting on the man's face. Like, hell to the no. I wish I, see, that's why I could write a book, but then I'd be exposing everybody. But yes, I know two male comedians I was on tour with. And everybody know I was only on two tours. I was on. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wear right. that you know shit. How do we like these? How do we like Look these? Damn. Look how big his foot is. What size is that? Seventeen. I thought I thought they looked cool. These are fourteens. Oh, big D, Chris. What is that? A what? long ass shoe. I'm a big foot, Chris. A Take big old long black foot. Chris Take from St. Louis. That's Wait a minute, Chris. You wear a size fourteen shoe? Yeah. Oh, you already put some in? Yeah. Wow. So, since I, I, know since I since I was fourteen. I know she don't know. She don't. But that's all right. She young. Well, that she makes young. sense because you're really tall. But I don't know why I thought you were like 11 or 12. Because I'm because I've gotten fat. <laughs> when I'm skinny, they no, look way. T- they look like skis. Like basketball players have big, long I played basketball for 12 years. You're right, and that's probably why you wear 14. Andre wear a seven. I have you know I wear 10 and a half. You wear a seven. I saw your shoes at Sherry House. I'm All right. Jeffries. This is... you put them on. I said, I can wear these. This is like a boy's seven. That right, don't the... gauge. We only fit the front. That don't gauge it. We can't gauge it from there. I'll give you an eight and a half. Hey, Matt, okay. hey, did, wait, wait. Oh, I got to give a special. Y'all know today is leap year? What do you mean? Yes. It doesn't come around. So people who are born on this day never get to celebrate a birthday. So first, I'd like to give everyone a shout out who has a birthday today for leap year because it's a special day that you actually the birthday lands on your day. Fifteen years old today. Carlton, Carlton Reynolds in Atlanta. It is his birthday, and I've been wanting to tell him happy birthday on his real birthday for years, and I've always had happy in March. Happy birthday, Carlton Reynolds. Andre, leap year comes say? every four years. I said you have to wait yeah. every three years to tell him happy birthday on his real birthday. Because every happy four years, birthday. you know you only get eight days in February. And then the fourth the year, you get she knew that trivia. I don't know how many years, but she knew that trivia every four you years. You know I'm corny. That's why they should have me on Celebrity. Uh, what was that cele- the Celebrity Trivia thing that Sherry went on? Well, Alice, Alice oh, Trebek oh, oh, is oh, old. Um, Will of Fortune, no. Uh, 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 um, Jeopardy, Jeopardy, Jeopardy. Jeopardy, yeah. I, I always wanted to be on Jeopardy. I, you know what? I could have gone on there because some questions were not as hard as normal. You couldn't even name the music. First of all, that was music. Trivia is different. And I Com- did name the music. Comedy Gives Back had to, had to write a check back. 
Why? Because Kim got so wow. many wrong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a shame. I did good. You did. You look <laughs> great, too. Day. You and Caroline did, did awesome. Yeah, we had fun. And we shot it in Ireland. Y'all know I didn't care. <laughs> oh, what say? I, I, I don't have to know. I was having a ball in Ireland. I don't blame you. Last we day of Ireland. You didn't even mention this. Over to London and then went to Paris, huh? <laughs> I was my coffee. I was Last my day. Oh, like this coffee is fantastic, y'all. Last day of Black History oh, Month. Have cream and oh, today sugar. is the last day of Black History Month. Black yes. Lives Matter. Yeah. Black Lives Matter. Ooh, ooh. Black Lives Matter. Oh, say what? something black, please. <laughs> you have nothing. Right on. Oh, to the people. Chris, don't say nothing black. Sugar white. Sugar <laughs> white in the house. Sugar white, this ain't your mom. If y'all had a chance to come back, would you come back black or would you come back something else? If you had a chance to come back, because that's a deep question, because it'd be a lot of pressure on being black. Chris would have been an abolitionist. Oh, wow. If I come back, I want to come back as a set of balls. I'm just saying. A set of balls. Yes, I would have a prime position. I could be reincarnated and let me be some balls. I love balls. So if God brought me back as a pair of balls, I'd be all right with it. I would. I ain't gonna lie. Let me be some nuts. Okay, I think we gotta end the podcast. She's kind of. That's kind of explains a lot. Bees always sweaty and in the way. All right, yeah, thanks for watching. Not. Thanks for watching Two Fair Mamas. We'll be back next week. <laughs> Follow us online. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I love you. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. <laughs> <laughs>